the question is, why do you think, as this, you know, you're a seasoned producer, you and Morgan Revelations, why do you think it's important to tell the story on, on film? Well, Camilla, it's for Morgan and I, it's so important for us to tell stories about our ancestors, about our history. When we started Revelations, the first thing we said is we don't see enough of our own stories on the screen. And um, so that's why we started Revelations. And we did it to reveal truth, to tell stories that, you know, not only have been forgotten, but in some ways suppressed. And I feel like this story is such an important story. And I am shocked, especially growing up in the theater and Morgan too, doing theater in New York for so many years, not knowing anything about the African company. I just have such a passion for this project. And uh, it, I have, you know, my own personal life. I have parallels with it. My family are from the Caribbean. These men came from the Caribbean in the early 1800s during slavery. And I just know what they dealt with every day of their life on the streets because they cared about, you know, they had a passion for this language. I think that the reason they performed Shakespeare is because they, it was a voice for them. It was a way that they could express themselves. They came from a strange country into America and they wanted to assimilate and they wanted to also embrace who they were. I grew up doing theater and I know what it meant to me yeah. to be in theater and the community and thinking about what it must have been like in the early 1800s to have that community of people to go to. As you know, I spent 20 years um, as an actress, right? I was a member of the first black theater company in London. Um, I joined them at the age of 14, um, as did Ira Aldridge join the African company at the age of 14. Mm. Ira Aldridge was the first black professional actor to perform Othello on stage, and he performed it in London in 1826. He trained with the African company, right? So, you know, my own personal history, when I found out about this, I knew that I had so, such a personal connection to this story. It was unbelievable. I was in New York. I was with a friend. We were having dinner in Greenwich Village. She's a theatre historian, and she said, do you know you are sitting across the road from where the first uh, African-American theatre company established itself in the early 1800s? And it was in 1821 that they established itself. And she said, I mean, apart from that, she said, Camilla, I think they're from the Caribbean. And that was the point when I nearly fell off my chair because, as you know, my family are from the Caribbean. Um, and I have this historical heritage and I just thought if I'd have known about this company when I was starting at the tender age of 14, mm -hmm. it would have meant the world to me because in London at 14, I was first generation black and I, I was kicking the, world, the walls down of stereotype, right? I was just, it, we were just fighting this stereotypical world in theater, in TV, in film, it just didn't exist. So to have this knowledge, to learn about them, to not know about them, but to learn about them, it, it, it would have meant the world to me, you know? And I know that when I shared it with you, as I share it with many people that you, that you had that same experience. A hundred percent. I also think that it's important to tell it now because think of all the young kids growing up now that will be inspired and see this and, and see themselves and see a place. So there's no better time than now to get the story uh, out. You said it, you know, it's really an acute time. We've lived through the last two years of, of, um, of Black Lives Matter and um, um, I think it's acute to be able to recognize this here, this history, to archive the history, the history, and to be able to, uh, you know, two year, hundred years on, to finally honor the African company. I think they really deserve it. So, I'm really happy that you're on board. I'm very excited that you support this project and. Uh, you know, let's let's just get it done, right? We, the, one of the reasons um, I have established the crowdfunding campaign 
is because as a black um, director, as a black filmmaker, I know it's important to be honest to this narrative. And because I have personal connections, I know that I'm able to do that. And you were very supportive in saying, listen, Camilla, we totally understand that too, right? So we're going to kick off this campaign. We, we want to start a crowdfunding campaign so we can be, um, you know, respect respectful to the narrative, but also so that we can, you know, a, a documentary is the perfect way to be able to archive this history so that nobody ever says, who who is the African company? We want them to say the African company. I said their name like you did, like Kendra did, you know, like absolutely. Morgan. I mean, did, absolutely, right? absolutely. I think Take it's their so name. I think it's also so important that we all have an opportunity to contribute in a small way. If you're not a filmmaker, if you're someone who's just out there and wants to see our history told, that it's a great way to have more voices, more contribution. And Camilla Morgan and I can't think of anyone better to tell this story. We're so happy it's in your hands and we can't wait to see what you do with it. Laurie, I love that you just said our, you know, it's, it's so that we we all, it's our history. We tell this history. So you said it, you know, I think that's the perfect way to, to uh, embrace this. It's our history. We want to make it accessible to all. I don't care what color you are, where you came from. We need to learn about each other. Absolutely. We learn about each other. There's a, there's less of a divide and it, you know the world becomes a smaller place right we embrace absolutely it the more we right. learn about each other the more we realize we have in common and the less of a divide there is between us absolutely you and i are on the same page so thank you so much for supporting us for coming on board for you know listening to me and uh, we're just we're, we're just so excited to have you to be part of this project so um, thank you so much our pleasure we're happy to be here lovely thank you thank you